escuchamos, lo escuchamos. Ya no, hermano Méndez, después el hermano Luis. Nada más, pues, buenas noches. Juan Carlos, Correcto, hermano. Pues, nada más, quería agradecerle el dinero al Dios. Hello, people. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Okay, people, it is time. Let's get started this evening. So welcome one more time to our class. Uh, We're going to start with different topic. Well, not a different topic actually, but we are going to start with this, with this reading first. Meanwhile, we have the other students attending to 
hear your paragraph about the country you uh, wrote about. Okay, last night I asked you to write about uh, another place, another country, I write some information without giving the name of the country. Well, this is this activity. I asked you to do this, to write about an a country. But right now we are only nine in class, so we're going to wait for the others to check this, okay? Let's start then reading this article about seven modern wonders of the world. Seven modern wonders of the world, okay? So I'm going to read this text and I will record the audio hearing what's up. Let me join the group, go to the group, okay. I will read the text and after that, we're going to talk about it a little bit, okay? Okay, okay, let me see. Here, seven modern, okay, I'm going to read. Seven modern wonders of the world. Do you recognize any of the sites in the pictures? The ancient Greeks spoke of the seven wonders of the world. Recently, some years came up with this list of the seven wonders of our modern world. The Panama Canal, begun in the 1880s, wasn't finished until 1914. It joins the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Engineers describe the canal as a victory of humans over geography. Workers dug huge amounts of land and tame rivers. For 40 years after it was completed in 1931, the Empire State Building in New York City was the tallest building in the world. Amazingly, this 102-story building was constructed in just 410 days. The Netherlands North Sea Protection Works is another victory over geography. The Netherlands, which is below sea level, was often flooded by the North Sea and by rivers. Then, between 1927 and 1932, a dam was built to shut out the sea. Twenty years later, dams and canals were built to control the river. The Golden Gate Bridge, completed in 1937, was also a challenge for workers. San Francisco Bay has very strong winds and rough waves. The Golden Gate is still the world's tallest bridge. It has enough steel to wrap around the world three times. At 1,800 feet, CN Tower in Toronto, Canada, it is one of the world's tallest freestanding buildings. Completed in 1976, the tower is used for TV and radio broadcasting. The, the Itaipu Dam, completed in 1984, goes across the Paraná River <laughs> and at the brazil Paraguay border. It is the world's largest hydroelectric plant. Completed in 1994, the Channel Tunnel joins France in um, joins France and England. Tunnel is a remarkable convenience. Cars, buses, and trucks are all carried through the tunnel by train. Okay. Well, this is this article.
Um, then we have a couple of activities uh, with this article. It says, read the article, then cover it and try to name. Let's see what, if you remember the information from the article, right? You have to complete or talk about or name what they uh, are talking about here. Name a structure that it is, that is the tallest of its kind. Name two great victories over geography. Name a structure that joins two bodies of water. Name two structures that join two separate areas of land. Name a structure constructed very quickly. Name two structures that are in Europe. Okay, I will give you time to work in, on this. I'll send you to do it in groups. Then there are a couple of questions that I want you to use to talk, to have a short conversation in your groups. Question number one, which of these wonders would you most like to see and why? Say, well, I would like to see the Empire State Building because it's a very uh, classic building in New York. I don't know how you give a reason. The second question says, what other kinds of things could be described as modern wonders. Hmm. Are there other uh, structures, buildings, or that we can call modern wonders? Something you can name. Okay, so that those are a couple of questions to use to talk a little bit in your group. So I will send you to work in groups. Read the article again if you want and complete these sentences, okay? Name a structure that it is, is the tallest of its kind, etc. For example, what, which one is this? I think it's the Golden Gate. I guess, I don't know if you agree with me. Golden Gate Bridge. Bridge. All of it is. I think it's the Golden Gate Bridge because it says here, the Golden Gate is still the world's tallest bridge. On oh, the question or the sentence says, name a structure that it is, that is the tallest of its kind. Well, the Golden Gate Bridge is the tallest bridge in the world. Right? So, and then continue with the rest in your groups, okay? A clear? I hope it is. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, join your groups, please. And I will give you a few minutes to work on that.
geography. That's the answer, right? Maybe you can write it down. Somebody has a notebook or something, I don't know. <laughs> Jaime? Hello, hello. Do you have a notebook? Or uh, one of my channel in Netherlands protection work, works. The third one said, says uh, a structure that joins two bodies of water. Okay. Two bodies of water, so. It is the body of water. Sorry? I'm sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Panama Canal, eh... uh -huh. no, Panama Canal works the huge amounts of land. Okay, let's say the primero. Uh -huh. La tercera es the structure that junior two bodies of water. La estructura unida con el agua es. Algo así. The complete also. Challenge to a certain way with the golden gauge is still to the barrier enough to still around the world time. Yeah. Geography. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, that's the other one. The Netherlands North Sea Protection Works. Okay. In the second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Protection works. Now, number three says a structure that joins two bodies of water. I think. Is it typo down? Mm -hmm. Maybe because mention a hydroelectric hydroelectric plant. Okay. <clears throat> I think this too. Ah uh, yes, this uh, it said goes across the Panama River in the Brazil Paraguay. Was that? Across the Brazil. Pasa por lo ejemplo. Next two structures that join two separate areas. Ah, this is the channel tunnel. Ah. Number number four is one of. Oh, joins France in English, in England. And also Panama Canal. Good evening. Hello, Susan. 
Hello. You're working in small groups right now. We're about to finish, but I will send you to one of them, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, people, let's see. Name two great victories over geography. Please write them in the chat, write your answers in the chat. Name two great victories over geography. Waiting for your answers in the chat. Come on, I don't see any. The Panama Canal and the Netherlands North Sea Protection Works. Ah, okay. Mm hmm Panama Canal, this history of humans over geography. And what was the other one? 
the Netherlands. Another victory over geography. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let me write it here. Number three, name a structure that joins two bodies of water. Name a structure that joins two bodies of water. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, people, right, right, quickly. Panama Canal, okay. Name two structures that join two separate areas of land. Two structures that join two separate areas of land. It up you down. It I put that. Joints to bodies of land. I'm not sure if the dam joins to bodies of land. The um, Panama River in Brazil, Paraguay. Well, it's say across, not join. They take down all the channel tunnel, yes. And goes across the Parana River. Ah, okay, 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 okay. You're right. Channel tunnel and the A type. Okay, okay, okay. Now, name a structure constructed very quickly. A structure constructed very quickly. Hey, yeah, yeah, you're right. The Empire State Building, yes. Almost a year. Okay, and finally, name two structures that are in Europe. Name two structures that are in Europe. Channel Tunnel, Netherlands North Sea Protection Works, and here up, voice tag. Going to mute. You okay? The Channel Tunnel and the Netherlands North Sea Protection. All right. Okay. Quickly, let's see.
Let's see, Alejandra. Hello, Alejandra, are you there? Alejandra one, Alejandra two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Alejandra, which of these wonders would you most like to see? Which of these wonders, these seven wonders, would you most like to see? And I think maybe the Empire State. Oh, why? And because is the structure uh, the tallest and wonderful and I don't see anything similar. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Now let me ask to Ernesto. Are you there, Ernesto? Ernesto at one, Ernesto at two, Ernesto. Yes. Okay. What about you, Ernesto? Which of these wonder would you most like to see? Let me see. I think that the Empire State is the Empire State too. Really? Why? Because I think that we have a good view of the city, of the New York City. Ah. Something like that. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Good, thank you. Now, let's see. Um, Guadalupe, are you there? Hello, Guadalupe? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. So what about you? Which of these wonders would you most like to see? Mm, well, uh, I think uh, the Empire State. <laughs> okay. okay. So everybody wants to go to the United States and visit New York. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Let me ask to Julissa. Hello, Julissa. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. I'm okay. here. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea what other kinds of things could be described as modern wonders? Mm, I am. Um, I'm not very sure that if this place was a a modern wonder, but uh, let me see. Um, which one? Iguazu waterfalls. Ah, okay. In is be is between three countries: Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay. And in in these wonderfuls, um, are like um. A park. It's oh. it's so beautiful. Oh. Yes, my father, my father and my mother was traveled. Your father and your mother traveled there? Yes. Oh. I I thought they were in Venezuela, but no, right? No, it's only in in these countries. Ah, okay, okay. Very good, very good. Okay, now let me ask to Osvaldo. What other modern wonder could you could you name? Could you mention? Yes. 
Hi, Osvaldo, are you there? Osvaldo one, Osvaldo two, not there. So let's move to Pablo. Are you there, Pablo? I am here, but I just listen to the class because I'm not at home. Oh, okay. Okay, ah, and Osvaldo, okay, couldn't open the microphone. Okay, so let me ask to um, Jamie. What about you, Jamie? Is there any other modern wonder that you could mention? The Empire State. And, uh, yeah, but those are here in the book, but another one that is not in the book? that you could name, could mention? I don't know. No? No. Okay. So, and, and you would like to visit uh, Empire State too? Okay, people. Well, there's a lot of things we can ask about this, but we have to keep moving. And uh, I think we are enough now to start talking about the countries you wrote about. Remember, uh, yesterday I asked you to write about another uh, different countries or different places, and you were going to talk about that, but without saying the name of the country, okay? So I would like to hear some of you. Who wants to start voluntarily to read about the country or the place you, you wrote about? And we are going to guess what place yes. are you talking about? about yes, yesterday. Yeah? Um, I'm going to try. <laughs> Okay, but don't say the name of the place, okay? Yes, yes. It's like a riddle. Mm -hmm. Okay. First is a Western European country. It's considered one of the most developed countries in the world. It also has one of the highest living standards and is the most populous country among the member states of the European Union and is home to the third larger group in the international immigrant which has 85 million of population. Wow, it's big. What do you think people? What country is she talking about? Western Europe. You say Western Europe, right? Yes. Okay, 85 million population. What do you think? I don't know. I don't <laughs> I don't really know <laughs> to be honest. Name a big country from Western Europe. Mm. It's the most developed countries in the world. Most developed yeah I guess. Consider one of them. Putin is the president. No. No. Russia. No. 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 Wrong answer. <laughs> I know the answer, but I ah. can't tell you. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were in the same group. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. If it is not Putin, <laughs> Western Europe. Okay. It was divided into countries a few years ago, many years ago. Was there I a, guess I'm not sure. <laughs> was there a big wall that was destroyed <laughs> between communist and capitalism? No. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Clase de sociales, <laughs> Germany? Are you talking about Germany? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, come on, Good people. <laughs> Okay, one more. Who wants to read another one? 
Thank you, Jancy and Natalie. Another one, please, quickly. Oh, you didn't write anything about another place. One, two. Ah, okay, you didn't do it. Okay, anyways, we have to continue. Well, let's take a look to this. We're going to move on to the next unit. Here in the manual. It's been a long time, says this. Let's take a look. Do you know these people? This man and this woman? Yes. It's Oprah and yeah. Bill Gates, no? Have you heard about know. Oprah, Winfrey, and... Oh, no, Bill William Gates. Henry Gates. Oh, Bill Gates. Gates. William Henry G Gates, known as Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. Gates. Huh? Okay, let me read quickly about these people. Oh, no, let me ask some of you to read about them, okay? Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Vanessa, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Vanessa, can you read about Oprah Winfrey, please? Oprah Win Winfrey. Yeah, read this information about her. Okay. Uh... Liches and and entertainment in the U.S. worth almost two hundred million dollars. Uh, Personal. First fun. First 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 fun. Born January twenty twenty. Nine, uh, eight, nine, nineteen, four, 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 five, 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 State University. Accomplishments. Uh, accomplishment, accomplishment. Uh, 19 was first African American new anchor on with TV Fifth TV in nice night, beer. Began the Oprah Winfrey show one one of the most popular top shows in the United States. After several years, for a company and both his own show. Okay, show. thank you very much, Vanessa. Okay, good. When was she born, people? When was Ofra born? January, January 29. 29. Okay, so how old is she now? Come on, mathematics, how old is she? 69. Yeah, 69, okay. What does BA stand for? What is the meaning of BA in education? Go to Google and tell me, what is the meaning of BA? in education. She is a BA in speech and performing arts from Tennessee State University. So it's an education degree. Oh, it's well, a Bachelor of Arts? Yes. Bachelor of All Arts degree. Right. Mm -hmm. Bachelor of Arts. Let me write it Bachelor here. Bachelor of Arts. Mm -hmm. Bachelor of arts. arts. That is the meaning of BA. 
So she is Bachelor of Arts in Speech and Performing mm -hmm. Arts from Tennessee State University. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, another question I can ask you. What uh, show did she began? Begun? Uh, begin, I'm sorry. What show did she begin? What did she begin? The Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey, show. Winfrey Show. The Oprah, Oprah Winfrey Show. Have you heard about that show? What kind of show is that? Is it's it a, a talk show. show. Ah, it's a talk show. Can you give me more examples of talk shows? Mm, Jimmy Follows. Jimmy Fallon, okay. Here mm. in Latin America, another talk show. No idea. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I don't know. There was um before the Christina Saralegi. Yeah, talk Christina, show. Christina <laughs> Saralegi was a talk, talk show. Yes, you're right. We don't have too many now here. But Maybe yes, but um, no, them. Yeah, that is a talk show. Okay. Um, I would like you to look for synonyms of this word. Talking about news, news anchor. What is a news anchor? Please find some synonyms of news anchor. A news reader or newscaster. Okay. Uh, it's a person who presents news during news program. Yes. News reader. News newscaster. Caster. So is the person who presents the news exactly on a news program, okay? Mm -hmm. That is a news anchor. What a different meaning of anchor, right? Because anchor okay. is usually that piece of iron that ships have to stop in the middle of the ocean. Oh. Oh. This is something different. Okay, very good. Any question about Oprah Winfrey? If not, let's continue with William Henry Gates. They're known as Bill Gates. Okay, let me ask, let me see. Okay, Luis, can you read about William Henry Gates, please? Sure. Since the beginning, right? Yep. Okay, personal, born October 28th in 1955 in Seattle, Washington. Education dropped out of Harvard University after second year. Accomplishment wrote the first computer language for personal computers. At 19, founded Microsoft Corporation, the world's leading computer software company. At 31, became the world's youngest 
billionaire. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, you know, is is he still alive? Do you know that? He's not there, but do you, mm -hmm. do you know? No, I don't know. He's still alive, teacher. He's still he alive. Is, yeah, he's just alive. Ah, the other guy is that passed away. Yeah, what's the name of the Apple guy? Oh, uh, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. But okay, okay. Um. So, how old is he now? Sixty-eight. Yeah. I see. I think that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Yeah, sixty-seven. Because, oh, because his his, his birthday is in October. Uh -huh. Okay. Did he finish the his career? No. I don't know, but I will say no. What? What is the information here? Oh, drop out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he dropped out of Harvard University after, after second, second year. year. He only studied two years at the university. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what uh, company did he found? Microsoft. 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 Microsoft Corporation. Microsoft Corporation. Okay. Wow. Two amazing people, right? Oprah Winfrey and William Gay. Okay. Let's take a look to this conversation. But first, before talking about or reading the conversation. Uh, tell me, what, what do you see in the, in the, in the picture? I want you to describe the picture next to the conversation, this picture. What do you see? A date. <laughs> yeah, a date. Uh -huh. Could be a date. Yes. Um, Why do you think it's a date? Because they are in a restaurant. And they uh, have a candle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, okay, they are in a restaurant. Uh, yeah, okay. restaurant with the light in the middle of the table. Light, a candle, okay. Um, hey, what else? Do they look happy? Do they look sad? How do they look like? I don't she, know if, if she looks like scary or nervous. <laughs> ah, yeah. okay. yes. Uh, surprise face. Ah, uh -huh. and, the, and the man? He looks really happy. Yeah, he looks really happy, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the woman wearing? A uh, purple dress. Uh huh. What else? Uh, what is the name of that? Mm. High heels. I don't know uh, what is the correct pronunciation. Pur yeah. uh, purple high heels. High, high heels. heels. Okay. And a uh, necklace. A uh, white necklace. Okay, very good. White necklace, high heels. And she's a uh, bright blonde hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a uh, sexy red slips, lipstick. Uh, <laughs> red ah, okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, what about the man? What is he wearing? The glasses. Glasses. Just the jacket. A jacket? 
What is the other name of this? I try to remember the other name, but I don't remember. A blazer? It's a blazer? A blazer, yeah, a blazer. Right. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Glasses. Blazer. Brown shoes. Brown shoes. And brown jeans. And brown hair. Okay, it's a brown hair. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, let's take a look at the conversation now. I will record it here in WhatsApp for you. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles and to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts. And I was running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. Okay. One more time, I'm going to read. Just see. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts and I was running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. Okay. So, what does she do? What she does she do? Mother. She's a mother. She's mother. Okay. Yes, you're right. Okay. Now, um, let's practice. Let's quickly practice that. Repeat, please. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? How, How did you get into modeling, modeling Stacy? Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. Well, 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 I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any part. And I was running out of money. I was going was to going audition to every day, day, but, but I, I never got, got any parts. I was, was running, running out, out, of out of money. So what did you do? So what did you do? What did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. Wow. Uh, what a lucky what break. A, what a lucky break. break. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation, people? But no. Okay. Yes, what, what means running up out of money? Ah, running out of money. Okay, so when you still have a little money, but 
uh, is getting less and less and less. So mm -hmm. you're running out of money. When about to finish it? Finish. Mm -hmm. So you're going. So you can use that to talk about different things. For example, uh, if you don't have enough milk uh, uh, at home, so you could say, oh, well, I'm running, we're running out of milk. Or when your car doesn't have enough gas, you say, wow, we're running out of gas. So we need to go to a gas station. Okay. So that is the meaning of that verb, running out of Ever running out of money, running out of milk, running out of bread, running out of gas. You know, that is the meaning of running out. Yeah, I got of, it. Thank you. It means like to have a little of something. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Okay, I want to just look at this. this you know, how did you get to modeling? And she says, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles, look for work. I was going. <laughs> what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. A customer offered me Okay. And the other structure I want you to look at is this. I was going to auditions every day. I was running out of money. I was working there. I was modeling full time. Pick one here. I never got any part. So these are two different forms to talk about past events. We are going to look at this tomorrow, but just keep in mind that these are two different ways, different forms to talk about past events. Different. Okay. Okay. Well, let's stop here. It's nine or one. So we are going to continue tomorrow. Have a good night, people. Take care and see you tomorrow. Good night, yeah. teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Hello.